Pat Love back from Love Healing Hearts. Here to share uh, one more scripture, I believe. Uh, 2 Chronicles 7.14 If my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven, will forgive their sins, and will heal their land. Now, I say that to say this as a piggyback off the other video. When you are going nowhere, do you know how many years you can waste in your life? How many years some of you women or some of you men are caught up in adulterous relationships where the person has every reason under the sun why they can't leave their spouse because this could happen or that could happen. They have to wait till the kids get to a certain age or they have to wait until there's an opportune time so that they can cut them loose and then the two of you can live happily ever after. And in the meantime, you're giving up the goodies, you're giving up all the family jewels, you're giving up all the fringe benefits. And you're getting nothing but dead, empty promises in return. And you have totally turned your back on God because you're so caught up in nonsense. And you're swimming and living and feeding off of stagnant water so long that you don't know how, how deadly it is. You don't know that it's killing you. You don't know that you're in self-destruct mode. Because you get a few more. See, Satan is not going to draw you with something that hurts. He's not going to draw you with something ugly or something that stinks. No, he's going to make it attractive to you. Because familiar spirits know what you like. How you like it. He knows. They know. So they set the traps. And the traps are pretty. And they sparkle. And they smell good. And they look good. And they sound good. And they... Feel good, baby. And you're going for the okie doke Like a sheep to the slaughter. Going right to it. We're going to have fun. <laughs> and Satan's saying, come on. Come on into my parlor, you fool. Come on into my parlor. I got something for you. Yeah. And you going. You going because it's wrapped right. It looks right. It smells right. It feels right. It is right. Huh? Oh, yeah, baby. To the, to the flesh. Only to the flesh. And you sitting up here and what ends up happening? A year goes by. Two years go by. Mixed with tears and frustration, but you're still waiting on that promise. You're not depending on the promises of God. You're depending on the promise of man. Because he got a little something that he whips out every once in a while to keep you coming back for more. Think about it. And it feels good, doesn't it? And it's hard for you to cut that loose. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what the devil uses. You're so attracted, you're glued like two strong magnets. And that's what the devil used. He uses that magnetic sexuality. The spirit of seduction just keeps you attached. And it, it, it ain't nothing you attach to. What you're attached to can't give you life. Can't put money in your pocket, can't fulfill your spirit, can't fill you with the love of God that gives life, can't heal your soul, mind, body, can't do any of that. But you're attached. And the Holy Spirit tries to come and pry, but you're like, ah, no, 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 I don't think so. And just give me a few more, give me a little bit more time, Lord. Two years go by. Five years go by. Ten years go by. You know, I know women who have been hooked up with a married man for 12, 15 years. Waiting. Waiting and screwing. Screwing and waiting. Getting upset, crying the blues, feeling all hurt and cheated. But they still there. 
How long is it going to take you? How many rounds, how many times you got to go around that mountain to realize you're getting nowhere? You're going around in circles like a dog chasing his tail. Now, how long are you going to chase your tail? Ain't it time? Ain't it time for you to reclaim your life? To repent, seek his face, turn from your wicked ways, and let him heal your land. Let him heal your soul. Let him heal your mind, your life. Reclaim yourself, baby, before you lose everything. You don't want to lose it and find out one day when you look up, it's eternally too late. Because then you can't go back. That's your warning. Where are you headed? Who are you clinging to? Are you willing to cut the umbilical cord to that sinful situation? Or are you willing to lose your soul for a few more nuts and a few more lies that make you feel good for a few little minutes?